Do you remember when the fall edition of all the fashion magazines would come out and they would be three times thicker than all of the other months? I used to love it. I dive into Vogue and Glamour and Self and yes, I'm dating myself, but I love those thick magazines that showed us all the exciting things that we could wear for fall and winter. And it really set us up for the next six months. However, I used to look at those and think, I can't afford any of the things in these magazines, but what can I do to look expensive on a budget and still pull off these looks? So in this video, we're gonna dive into 10 ways you can look expensive on a budget all fall and winter long. So let's dive right in. Number one on my list is avoid distressed denim. Now, if you're having a beach day or you wanna look like a surfer dude, by all means, wear distressed jeans, light colored jeans. But if you're going for a more elevated look, I avoid light colored jeans. Go for a darker wash like this go for jeans that aren't distressed, that just look clean and sophisticated. It's just going to elevate anything that you have on. It will look dressier because your jeans are a little bit dressier. And it doesn't mean that you can't look casual. It's just gonna have a more elevated look that will carry you all through the next six months. Number two on my list is stick with simple jewelry. Now I've talked about jewelry before, but go for a gold or silver, whichever you prefer, and keep your jewelry lighter, a little airier. You don't need huge clunky pieces of jewelry. It's not going to look elevated and expensive. Go for lighter pieces, uh, lighter amounts of jewelry. You don't need 20 bangles, just a few pieces here and there that kind of pull your whole outfit together will look right on point and make you look more expensive. Number three is a huge pet peeve of mine. It is logos on everything. And we've seen, like, I think Gucci is one of the biggest ones known for this head to toe logo look. I've seen it from other designers as well, but it doesn't look wealthy. And you know what? The people that are trying to pull this off are not the wealthy people. They are not going to wear this look. They don't need to shout it from the rooftops that they're wearing something expensive. You can look sophisticated, elegant, and refined by wearing classic pieces without logos screaming it everywhere. So tone down the logos or take them off entirely. I really tried to avoid most logos. You just don't need them and buy nice quality pieces and look pulled together. And that is all you need to do. You don't need a logo to verify who you are as a person. Number four on my list is dressing too trendy. Now I talked about those fashion magazines and yes, I did have a trendy phase of my life, but that doesn't mean that you want to embrace that every time. You wanna stay updated and relevant, but you don't wanna hop on every fashion trend because when you do that, what happens is those things that you bought, that you buy on the trend, you know, that are really fast and quick fads, in six months or a year, you're gonna be like, why did I buy those? So don't buy the trends, just stick with classic pieces that are on trend that are not super fashion forward. I did a whole video recently on comparing what's in on the trend and how you can make it a more classic look for yourself. So check out that video. I'll also put a link to it in the description below. Number five on my list is dressing over the top. Now, I think some people have in their head that to look expensive, they need to be totally dolled up with over the top hair and makeup and glamorous heels. And I'm here to tell you that that is not going to make you look expensive the way you're trying to look. It just makes you look gaudy or tacky. It's There's no other way to say it. It just gives a gaudy look. So go for a little bit more refined, a little bit more classic. Yes, you can add a hint of spice here and there. I, you know, I'm. As I'm telling you about this, I'm here in my sparkly shirt, but 
you can add a little pop here and there, but you don't want to be like super blinged out earrings and a headband and, uh, you know, just keep it to one key piece that's going to set the tone for your outfit. The outfit isn't going to be wearing you. You're going to be wearing it. So you just don't want to go overboard. There's no need to, at our age, prove anything to anyone else. You just want to look beautiful, elegant, and that will give you an expensive look. Number six on my list is carry a structured bag. Now those hobo bags and fringe bags, you know, they tend to be very trendy. They come in, they go out, and they're not going to give you a refined look. They just, they just seem to have a feel of you don't know what you're doing. So you carry these kind of throw everything in bag. Whereas a structured bag will give the appearance that you know how to pull things together, you embrace a classic look, and it will serve you for years to come carrying a bag like that. In fact, I did a video on that topic where I show you 10 classic bags that are sophisticated and elegant that you can get at a very decent price. I have, uh, all of them are under $300 and you can look at that here and we'll go on to the next point. Number seven on the list is invest in quality shoes that suit your current lifestyle. Now, have you ever seen somebody at an event and they're wearing like little tiny high heeled shoes that are, aren't much different than a flip flop and it's snowing outside or it's really windy and raining and it just sort of looks ridiculous. Well, a lot of times what they're trying to do is pull off an expensive look, but they're not pairing the right shoes for the outfit. And you always want to look like you've pulled yourself together, you've checked the weather and a good looking boot can really elevate an outfit. In fact, I recommend if you're going to invest in a boot or you need something like that, look at something like a Chelsea boot or a riding boot. Those are going to look very classic. You're going to have them for many years and they don't go in and out of style. They stay around. They're, they've been around for years. They're gonna stay around for years and you'll be able to have them in your closet and invest in some boots that are a little bit more expensive. Same goes for shoes. You can never go wrong with a classic loafer, a pump. There are lots of shoe options out there that are conservative and elegant that you can wear. Keep your feet warm and dry and look great all season long. Number eight is not far off from the same problem in number seven where we're wearing the wrong shoes. Same goes for not having a coat. How many times have you seen people outside and they're standing there freezing because they wanted to look good in their outfit so they didn't bring a coat and didn't bring the right outerwear. So again, you wanna have the right outerwear to go with whatever you're wearing. Classic pieces will serve you really well. Go for a classic camel or black coat in a nice wool. If you want a little bit more casual, you can go for like a pea coat style. Those never go out of style. Or you can even go for with a trench coat. Trench coats, even though they are a huge trend this season, they have been around for many, many years and they will not go out of style. So that's one that you can have in your closet for many years to come. All are a little bit more of an investment piece, but they will serve you well for a long time and go with many different things in your wardrobe. Number nine on my list is go for deeper, richer colors this season. When you think of fall and winter, you think of rich tones, jewel tones, deep greens and burgundies and wine colors and pumpkin orange and, and just you just get into the rich luxury colors and I think that's a great way, even if you're um, a warm tone, you can go with different shades of browns, navy blue, black, gray. You can definitely expand your wardrobe and those darker pieces not only will anchor your wardrobe, but they'll just give you a little bit of a warm, rich feeling. They're, those colors tend to be very elevated and they will give you that rich, elegant look that you were going for. Number 10 on my list is invest in fall classic pieces. These pieces will serve you all fall and winter long. And when you think of fall, think you think corduroy, you think denim, tweed, 
knitted garments and sweaters such as cable knit sweaters, cashmere, fair isle sweaters with beautiful patterns on them, cardigans. There's just so much luxury that goes into fall and winter garments. Look for those, invest in those pieces, and they will serve you a long time because they are classics. They tend, they've been around for a very long time. They're timeless pieces that you'll love pulling out of your wardrobe year after year. So I hope you've enjoyed all 10 of these fall fashion do's and don'ts to look more expensive, and I'll see you in the next video.